Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, today's video, the topic is going to be how do you prepare your kids to live off grid and how does it go with your kids living off grid? Um, you know, somebody had asked for this video, so I thought I would go ahead and address it because obviously my kids and I are living off grid. So when we were first getting ready to move off grid, I sat my kids down and I told them what was going on and you know what we were doing and um, you know it's a it's a huge huge adjustment okay and uh, I was very very honest with my kids I said when we first moved to the property I said the first couple of weeks are gonna suck and that's exactly what I told them I said the first couple of weeks are gonna suck I said but it will get better and um, it's a huge huge adjustment for a child and uh, you know from going to you know from suburbia to living out in the country and uh, you know a huge change of everything but one of the things that I've done from day one is I've actively engaged my children and I wanted to know what their thoughts were on things and how they felt about stuff okay I'm gonna give you one example like this spring I said to my kids I said okay I said if there's one thing that daddy can do right now to make your life better to make it more comfortable being out here what do you want right now what is the one thing that you want right now and unanimously with both of them it was more power so that was why this spring i completely revamped my solar system um, and stuff like that because i knew we needed more power so that's what happened with that and that's why we did it um this the way we've done it so um you know that is really you know engaging your children sitting down listening to them listening to their thoughts and what they think it's really really important you want to keep them involved because if you're living this lifestyle I mean let's let's be honest if a parent just makes the decision to go you're gonna go okay and a child is gonna go along no matter what but to keep them actively engaged and to be part of it um, I think is really really important and to listen to them you know what I mean not just hear what they have to say but actually listen to what they have to say and it's funny um, we've been up here it was a year in June so I mean you know we're rolling along now um, it, this is home you know this is what they know because this is now home but uh, you know sitting down and having that initial conversation and letting them know okay this is th things are going to be different it's going to be a different lifestyle than we had before um, you know like with uh, you know teaching them like with the wood stove and the safety issues of it and the importance of keeping the wood stove um, stoked up at night and uh, you know if you wake up and have to go to the bathroom throw a couple logs on the fire I mean these are things that you know they need to know and if you know what to do if that hot ember comes out and lands on the floor what are you gonna do I mean you can't panic obviously you have to deal with the situation so engaging them in those type of situations and teaching them is really really important and you know before you know it it's just second nature and they just do it automatically and um, you know uh, it's uh, like I said it, it's a it's a huge transition but here's the biggest thing kids are very very resilient and I'm gonna tell you that um, kids actually will adjust better and faster than the adults will it, it's true um, you know I when we made the decision to come up here and to live you know this lifestyle um, I knew it was going to be an adjustment and I knew that the kids would adjust well because just because like I said kids are resilient they adjust to whatever I knew that probably for me it was going to be more difficult and um, actually it hasn't been bad I, I you know it was kind of what I expected and uh, but here's here's the other thing you got to remember monkey wrenches are going to be thrown in you know so you have to be open to change you got to be able to say okay well I wanted to do this but now that's thrown out the window we're gonna to have to do something totally different um, you know so you kinda of have to roll with the punches if you will and uh, but like I said engaging your children and uh, you know letting them know what their thoughts are and and here's the thing is they might say right from the beginning now you know what I don't want to do that that's gonna suck and it's gonna be horrible and I don't want to do it and then once they get into it and they're doing it um, you would be surprised how it's like oh yeah I, I like doing this you know because it's different than from what everybody else is doing and here's one of the things that I talked with my kids about I said here's the thing I said we do this lifestyle it's gonna do two things I said number one the expenses are not gonna be there you're gonna be able to have more time together to do things 
and I said, in time, I said, the money is going to be freed up and we'll have more money to do things. And so kids understand that aspect of it. They understand, okay, well, well in the long run, it's going to be better for them financially because it's going to be better for you financially. They know that you're going to be less stressed, that you're going to have more time with them. I'm going to tell you, I, I, like I said, I've, I've said it before in other videos, I used to work 66 hours a week, and I did it for about 10 years. And I was freaking miserable. I mean, absolutely miserable. And uh, now I work 40 hours a week, you know. And uh, we don't have the kind of money that we had before, but we have enough. And, um, you know, we're happy now. And I think that's a lot of it, too. And, and, and your reaction to stuff is going to affect your children as well. If you're stressed out and you're on edge and uh, all the time, your kids are going to pick up on that. But if you are more relaxed and you're in a better mind frame um, and state of mind, the kids are going to feed off of that as well. And, 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 and like I said, kids are going to feed off you as a parent. They really are. So they're going to take their cues from you. And I know for me personally, being here and living this way, it, it's just so peaceful and it's so much nicer and there's so much less stress and um you know it, it makes all the difference in the world it really truly does so you know those are the things that uh you know your, your kids are going to feed off of that so you know knowing that you're happier it's going to make them happier and it just it all kind of snowballs together it really truly does so you know and like i said kids are very very resilient they're gonna they're gonna bounce back and they're gonna be fine and uh you know those those are key things and uh but like i said engaging your children having them actively involved in everything. Um, it's just like with doing stuff around here, when we're working on the wood or whatever, everybody pitches in because we're all gonna benefit from that wood this winter, you know? And um, that's really important. And, and they have to know, they have to know what the process is and what's involved in it. And, and they appreciate it more, you know? That's one of the things too. That, it's just like with the power, they appreciate the power more. And um, so those are the things I, you know, I just wanted to put it out there. Um, please let me know what your thoughts are. Um, like I said, I love engaging in the conversations. I love the interaction because I think it's really, really important that we, you know, bounce off of each other. I know there's other families out there that are also living off grid with kids. Um, I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, I know a lot of you were thinking about doing it and you're concerned of how your kids are going to be. I'm going to tell you what, your kids are going to be just fine. You're probably going to be the bigger one that's going to have the harder adjustment, not your kids. Um, kids, like I said, they're very, very resilient. And uh, like I said, having them actively engaged in everything is very, very important. And listening to what they say and what their thoughts are. Like I said, I mean, I know, like I said, we upgraded this summer and our power was freaking fantastic. You know, like I said, I know I need more panels. Um, I've talked about that and I will get them. Um, even if I have to buy one at a time, you know, we're going to be doing that this winter. So, um, you know, we're going to get up there. I want to be at 3,000 watts. We're 1,500 right now. Um, I want to be to 3,000 watts. I definitely want to get a tracker. Um, I've talked about that as well. But, uh, you know, having that power makes a big difference so that they can get on their laptops and have some form of normalcy. You know, that's the thing is to, uh, um, that's one of the things I will say, try to keep things as normal as possible for your children. Um, you know, it may not be like what everybody else is normal, but if they can have a shower and they can have their power and they can go on their laptops or their devices or play their Xbox or whatever it is that gives them that sense of normalcy, you know, try to do that for them. That is important, okay? Um, and like I said, just listen to them. I mean, that, that's probably the biggest thing I would say. Listen to your kids because they're going to tell you, you know, sit them down and say, you know, what, what do you want? What do you need? What, what, what's going to make your life better here? And, and try to make that happen if you can. And if you can't make it happen right away, explain to them why you can't. And then just kind of go from there. So, um, like I said, let me know what your thoughts are. Like, comment, share. Let me know what you think. Um, I really, like I said, I love the interaction. I love talking about these subjects. And I love to get your guys' feedback. I think it's real important that we all, you know, are working together with this. So, um, let me know what you think. And, uh, you know... I will talk to you guys later. Today is September 22nd. It's Thursday. Um, absolutely beautiful here today. They're talking tomorrow high of in the low 70s and in the 40s at night. So it'll be interesting. 
and rain tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But um, anyway, guys, listen, have a great day. I hope everybody's week is going well, and I will talk to you all later, okay? Prepper Nurse went out for now.